Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered why your phone's memory is always full, even though you don't have many photos, videos, or apps installed? Here's the truth. Hidden folders on your phone quietly collect junk files over time, especially files like duplicate images and videos from apps like WhatsApp. In today's video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to find these hidden files and delete them to free up a lot of space on your phone. We won't install any extra apps. We'll only use the file manager that's already on your phone. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on helpful tips like this. All right, let's get started. First, open your phone's default file manager. On different phones, it might be called My Files, File Manager, or something similar. Tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to Settings, turn on Show Hidden System Files. Depending on your phone brand, this option might be located in a different place. For example, on this other phone, you'll find it in the top left corner. We need to enable hidden folders to see the files taking up space. Once that's done, go back to the File Manager home screen. Now let's find the hidden folders where WhatsApp stores duplicate files, specifically the ones you've sent to others. When you send a photo or video through WhatsApp, the app automatically creates a copy and stores it in a hidden sent folder. This means that even though you only have one photo in your gallery, WhatsApp now has a second copy saved, and over time, these duplicates can take up a lot of memory. To find them, go to Internal Storage, Android, Media. Here you should see a folder named com.whatsapp.w4b if you're using WhatsApp Business. If you're using the regular WhatsApp, look for com.whatsapp instead. Open the folder, select Media. Tap on WhatsApp Images, then tap on the folder called Sent. Here you'll see all the duplicate images that were saved just because you sent them to someone. You can safely delete all these files. It will not delete the original files from your gallery or downloads. It only removes the copies WhatsApp made and stored in this hidden folder. It won't affect your chats or app performance in any way. So go ahead and select all, tap delete all. If you get a message saying the files will be deleted from your gallery, don't worry, those are just the copied files WhatsApp displays in your gallery, not the originals. We will repeat the same process for WhatsApp videos. Go back and select WhatsApp video. Sent. Select all the duplicate videos. Here you can see it's occupying about 1.46 gigabytes. That a lot of space. Go ahead and delete it. Next, let's go to Sent WhatsApp Documents. This folder stores all files you've sent as documents, including Word files, PDFs, images, and videos sent using the Document option in your WhatsApp app. In my case, all the documents files alone is taking up around 2.08 gigabytes of storage. That a lot of space. Select all and delete. Deleting these duplicate files can significantly reduce storage usage. If you regularly send media through WhatsApp, this single step could help you free up hundreds of megabytes or even multiple gigabytes of space on your phone. After deleting those files, they may still remain in the trash folder, still taking up space. Here's how to remove them completely Go back to the File Manager home screen. Scroll down and open Recycle Bin or Trash. Tap the three dots in the corner. Select Empty. Confirm the deletion. Depending on your phone model, 
the trash or recycle bin might be located in a different place. For example, on this other phone, you'll find it in the top left corner. If your phone doesn't have a trash and file manager, open your gallery, go to albums, and check for recycle bin or trash. If you still can't find it, don't worry. Your phone will automatically erase trash files after 30 to 60 days. Now let's move on. I'm going to show you another powerful tip to free up even more space on your phone. Apps like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram silently consume large amounts of storage over time. These apps continuously generate and store temporary data, such as cache files, thumbnail previews, video snippets, and browsing history. Every time you scroll through your feed, watch videos, or open images, the app saves parts of that content locally to load it faster the next time. While this improves performance, it also leads to a buildup of junk files, especially if you use these apps frequently. Over time, what started as a 50 megabyte app can grow to take up several gigabytes of your phone's internal memory. That's why it's important to regularly clear the cache and app data, especially for social media apps. Doing this can instantly free up a significant amount of space and help your phone run more smoothly. Open settings, tap on apps. Once you're in the app list, tap the filter icon and sort it by size and tap OK. Now you'll see which apps take up the most space. For each heavy app like WhatsApp, tap on the app, scroll to storage, tap clear cache, then tap manage storage. Here you'll see a breakdown of each chat, starting with the ones occupying the most storage. Tapping a chat shows all the media, images, videos, voice notes, documents. You can manually delete these files to instantly free up space on your device. Repeat the same process for other chats that are consuming large amounts of storage space. After that, clear other app cache and data. Repeat this process for any other apps that are taking up a large amount of storage on your phone. For apps that require login credentials, such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and others, it's recommended to clear only the cache if you're unsure of your login details. Clearing the cache helps recover storage without logging you out. However, if you're certain of your login credentials and want to free up more space, you can go ahead and clear the app data as well. Just keep in mind that this will reset the app and require you to log in again. That's it. You've successfully removed hidden junk files, cleared out duplicate WhatsApp media, and cleaned up your app memory, all without installing anything new. If this helped free up space on your phone, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss helpful tips like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and thank you to everyone supporting the channel. See you in the next video. Bye for now.